Hey guys, and welcome back to another train simulator video. Good evening, driver. This evening, you will drive the 1Y2B, which for today is the 1726 from Ingain Stone to Ipswich, calling all stations. There are currently engineering works between here and Shenfield, so all services must turn back at uh, Ingain Stone. This particular service has just arrived from Clapton, so you need to switch cabs. Okay, then. So let's do that. I think it's control equals. There we go. So our first stop is Chelmsford, which is six miles away. Going to four. That's on the lights. So once again, we're driving the class three one seven. Since you really enjoyed my other scenario with the class three one seven with the London All Ground livery, this time I'm going to be using the Abilio Great Angle livery for the class three one seven, which looks absolutely amazing. You can download this reskin from superalps.weebly.com if you do want to play this scenario and drive this train. You can take a screenshot, because why not? There you go. So we're currently at Ian Gate Stone, calling all stations to Ipswich, which are, only, which are only 45 miles away. The scenario will last around 60 minutes long, so not too, too long. I think there's some lights in here. Yeah, it's on the lights because it's a bit dark. It's a bit, kind of an evening service. 5.25 in the evening. And we are driving our A car train. Which is kind of cool. And this is using the class 455 slash 8 um, train by default. But obviously, I've changed the front of it to make it look like a class 317. The next station is Chelsford, arrival 1732. It does accelerate as fast as a class 455, as you would expect. I believe once we get to Chelsea, we are going to be following another train to a skip switch, so that's going to be interesting. We will account as some signal to go too fast. We need to speed up actually. So our first stop is Chelsea, then is Hatfield, Perrell, Whitam, Kelvin Don. Marks, Ty, T, Colchester, Manning Tree, and Ipswich. This train is pretty loud, as you can already hear. Hopefully you guys can hear me. It should be a clear run to Charleston now. Should 
be a train at Charleston Station, I believe. The one that we're going to be following. I'm not too sure where it is at the moment, but I'm sure we'll catch it up eventually. Last 360. There is a class 379 uh, Amelia Grace Anglia train as AI in the snow, so you do have to uh, install it if you do want that train as AI, but if you don't want to install it, that's absolutely fine because you can still play the scenario. But it just adds a variety of um, point bullets, different types of uh, AI in the snow to make it more realistic. I don't think 379 is run on this part of the route, but I have told the person who made the scenario for me uh, to add it just because why not, you know? The more AI, the better, I guess. So we are approaching Shelford, one mile away. About 60 miles an hour speed of the change. There's a class 379. Install that rear skin from Super Alps as well. <laughs> Shelton is actually a really nice station. It's above ground and all that, which is really nice. Also, change it for, I guess, other greater uh, Anglia services. That's a nice screenshot. Very nice. So yeah, this is Chelsea Station. Above ground, there's a road underneath it. Got like a bus station over there. It's really nice. Pretty detailed since how old this room is actually. Might as well take one more screenshot. I might use it for the thumbnail. So this is the passenger read for the class 317. Which looks really really nice. You got the map of the Great Eastern Main Line that starts in London Liverpool Street. We've got Cambridge there. Private notice, Great Anglia, welcome board, class 317. Are you speared? I think that's already in the class 455, that thing, so that, that hasn't changed. But yeah, here's the map. It's a bit, a little bit blurry, but I can read the stations, pretty kind of. So we're currently, where are we? Um. Hmm, where are we? It's kind of hard to see actually. <laughs> so Liverpool Street is over there, so I'm guessing we're going straight up. King's Lane is there. But where's Ipswich? Um, no, I, oh, there's Ipswich, there's Manning Tree. So we're down... So we were here in Gatestone, which is over here. In the middle of the screen is where I'm pointing at. I, I know you can't see my mouse, but... Just pretend it's there. So we're starting at there, we're stopping at Chelsea, which we're here now. Going to get Hatfield and then Whitsam, then we're going straight up to Ipswich. It's pretty cool. Very nice. Anyways, we are ready to depart soon. Let's see if we can see the train ahead of us. 
He did say we've got to be following him on the train, but... There's no train in front of us. Well, if there is one, then it's really uh, far ahead of us, so... We shouldn't have... Inc shouldn't encounter it, I don't think. Hopefully. Next stop is Hatfield at 17.39. Let's get going. Class 360 there. Very nice. <laughs> so we're 100 miles now on speed limit. Whatever this train is capable of 100 miles an hour, we'll see. We know I can go over 75 at least. It's good. Whoops, we're speeding a little bit. That's okay. Williams going up anyway, so shouldn't matter too much. Just under 40 miles away from the switch now. Get a speed limit change very soon because we are arriving at Hatfield quite fast. Our ETA is saying they were slightly late, so we might have to make up that time hopefully. Almost 90 miles now, I think pretty cool. Watching this train go at full speed is pretty cool, you know. But you don't really expect it with this train, but I guess in this game you can go a lot faster than the speed limits. which more way that is.
to. We should reach on time though. Just about. We meant to reach at 39.45 but I think we'll reach around maybe 20 seconds late. It doesn't matter too much though. Got class 360 coming the other way. Yeah, this is full throttle. Yeah, just about 15 seconds late, that's okay. It does take its time to slow down though. There we go. Since it's quiet now, um. Dovetail Games have announced that uh, Train Simulator 2018 is coming out in November this year, which is uh, big news, which is only next month, so they haven't announced what date is it, but it's coming out next month, so that's really good news, I guess. And they have announced that they've got a uh, uh, license to use Virgin Trains now, and the Class 221 uh, Super Voyager uh, in the Virgin livery is coming for Train Simulator 2018. The next station is Witham, where you are due to arrive at 17.46, however the timetable allows for 5.5 minutes between here and Witham. So you should be able to catch up time if you are late. The branch line to Braintree also branches off there. Okay then. Let's get going. But yeah, the Class 221 Super Voyager is coming to Train Simulator 2018. Coming for the new uh, North Wales coastal route. So I believe those trains uh, go to Cruise Station, which is one of the stations that it's uh, available in the new route, so that's big news actually. Hopefully we'll see a Class 390 in the future, an updated Class 390 with the Virgin livery. That would be pretty cool, you know. That would actually be amazing. Hopefully the sounds are pretty good, but if not, then I'm sure people will have the Voyager uh, sound pack from Altrin Powerhouse. I believe the Class 175 is also coming for that route as well, because that's the one that runs on the line, I believe. But it's cool to see the Class 221 coming to uh, Dovetail uh, Train Simulator though. Even though Just Trains have that train already, but it's the first time uh, Dovetail Games are adding the uh, 221. And obviously with the converging livery, which is going to be amazing. Okay, we're pretty early to wit time, so I'll just go around 50 miles an hour. No point going too early. I'll actually slow down there. We are going down anyway, so we'll pick up speed. They haven't actually announced anything about the UI being updated for Train Simulator 2018, so... I'm guessing it's not going to be updated, and maybe it's just... If it does want to make Train Simulator 2018 because for the sake of it, and... Maybe they just want to release new routes with them, I guess. That is the only logical thing I can think of for them to uh, release Train Simulator 2018. Considering Train Sim World is already out and we've got our routes already for the UK and of course the America, then... I don't think anyone expected Train Simulator 2018. Maybe Dubs Games themselves didn't expect it either, so...
believe the brain tree branch uh, runs off here. That's what he just said uh, at uh, the previous station. They've got a beautiful class 379 coming out of the way. Screenshot of that. There we go. I think I'm gonna be waiting here for around two minutes. That's okay. But just under two minutes. We're gonna explore a bit of Witham. So I believe the branch line. Where does the branch line go? Is it that side? So I'm guessing the branch line goes towards that side. You can actually check that, I think, on the map. So yeah, we're currently here. Oh, whoops. Click the wrong button there. So this must be going to all the way to Braintree, which I can... S oh, my God. That's a long way. Yeah, Braintree portal. So that's the Braintree branch. And I was going go straight towards Ipswich. I probably could show you in here as well, so... Uh, well, we... Oh god. Um Um So yeah, there's Witter and then there's the Brain Tree branch. I think the brain tree branch is in the game, I believe. I'm not too sure actually. Let's just quickly check. But there's a track that goes there though. I guess it is in the game. It looks like it. But anyways, we're not going out on that side today. We're going to Ipswich. Looking boy.
should pretty much be on time actually. We should reach that 50.45 and it's 50.35 at the moment. So pretty much bang on time actually, look at that. We'll open the doors exactly 45. There we go. <laughs> Let's say we're perfectly on time. I'm sure that doesn't happen in real life. Ever. Maybe never in real life actually. Nice station. Got a footbridge above. Next station is Mark T, a branch line to Sudbury uh, diverges here, but you laugh. Narrowly missed a branch line service by the time you get there. That's interesting. Just want to take a screenshot, because why not? <laughs> If this came to train symbol, I, I, I don't think any of the branch lines would be included for train symbol. <laughs> Just like the Great Western Main Line, let's be honest. Anyways, <coughs> so we got Mark T, then we got Colchester, Manning Tree, and then Ipswich. There's a lot of branch lines on this route. Maybe around, I don't know, 10 to 15 branch lines. It's kind of crazy if you think about it. I 
might have overshot this a little bit. I'm hoping we haven't. Uh, no, we should be just okay, I guess. Just about. Actually, we're gonna overshoot a little bit, actually. Actually, that's not too bad, actually. There's a stop sign, so I'll take that as a win-win. Perfect. And there's a branch sign that goes towards the right-hand side. That's a kind of interesting. And it has its own uh, separate platform as well, which is kind of cool, I guess. Class 360. Actually a nice screenshot, actually. Maybe not, because that train is so long. <laughs> Maybe the back of the train. There we go. There's our own piece of track as well, wow. Interesting. The next station is Colchester at 1803. Another service will pull in front of you here and you will follow it until Ipswich. Branch lines from Colchester Town. Walton on the Nays and Clacton on Sea diverge here. Okay then, thank you very much. So another service will pull in front of here and you will follow it until Ipswich. Interesting. But let's get going. Oops, my bad. Let's get release now. Let's get going. Services and this is the stopping services. Oh, this is a fast. Actually, that's not. That's a terminus, actually. Oops, my bad. <laughs> but now are three, three lines here. Which I'm guessing will turn into two lines soon. So we should be following another train. I guess. So, where is it? I think it's that one. The train is already at Colchester. Which makes sense. Oh, 
Dorchester. We do have a yellow signal, so there's a train up ahead of us. Lagging now since Colchester is quite a dense um, pile of scenery at Colchester, I'm guessing. As you would expect, big station on this uh, line. Quite a long platform as well. Probably good for a 12 car train on that. Be class 360, yes, it is. There. I'm guessing I'm going to be following this train to class 317 since it's. I'll probably depart as soon as we arrive. Where's that train going to anyway? That's not telling me where it goes. That one's going from Colchester to Colchester Town. I guess there's a branch line. Yeah, there's a branch line going down, and there's a 16 o'clock Colchester Town to Colchester. Interesting. A lot of platforms here. Got one, one, two, three, four, and one track in the middle. Gets fast services. So if we're not following that train, now what train are we following? Actually, we are following that train. Well, look at that. Perfect timing. So, we're going to be following another from last year and seven. That's kind of interesting. I'm guessing that's in the same service as us, maybe. Stopping at the same stops as well. Yeah, we're definitely following that train. Manning Tree is the next station at 1814, the branch line from Harwich Town at International. Join the main line here. Now that branch line you can buy from Just Trains if you're wondering, so if you do want to drive that part of the route then I know I say it approved but I don't think we can go. But there's a train ahead of us. I'll wait for that red signal to change to yellow, so yeah, let's get going. Yeah, the, that branch line you can buy from just trains around, I think five quid or something like that. So, and you do get a bunch of scenarios with the route as well. It just is an extension to this route, so you can drive from Liverpool Street all the way to um, Harwich Town if you wanted to, I believe. It's a pretty good deal, see, actually. Once that train ahead of us gets up to speed, then we can obviously go a lot faster. So we got 
two stops left, Manning Tree, is seven miles away, and then Ipswich is 16 miles away. So we're currently there, and the other train should be all the way there. It is the same class 317, so it'll be accelerating and decelerating at the same time as us. It's not like it's, it's an ex express train or anything like that. So let's go around 45 miles an hour. If we continue to get green signals then we should be able to go faster than this. What I want to know is, will it stop at the same station as we are? I guess for a real train driver it would be a bit annoying to follow on the train. If you would keep experiencing uh, yellow signals and possibly a red signal all the time, so... I guess that's not the, not the funnest thing to do. The train must be at Manning Train. Approaching Manning Tree now. The question is, will it stop at Manning Tree? Turn journey that we're doing essentially. Yeah, bring it in just now. So yeah, 
that train is stopping there, so... We should kind of slow down. Anyways, the emergency brake has kicked in. Okay, that train is just departing that station now, actually. Wow. But we should be able to go. That train's departing, anyway, so we should be able to go, anyway. So let's get going. That's a, that's a class room on that one. A car train. Looks like it. Interesting name for a station though. Got to say. So this branch line goes towards the right hand side. Now I do have the extension installed so this should go all the way to Manning Tree. I mean not Manning Tree, sorry. To um Harwich Town. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it goes. Okay, it does is this basically an extension to this um route? Yeah, the tracks continue so If leaving here at 18.15 you are two or, two or three minutes late due to a service in front of you. The next and final station is Ipswich where you now expect to arrive at 18.28. This puts you three minutes behind schedule. Okay then, but well, that's not our fault is it? The trains ahead of us and driving really slowly, so nothing we can do about it. I've just gone under 10 miles away from Ipswich now. That train should be not bad, actually.
should have built a signal now, so maybe I have to go a little bit slower. I think the AI it takes a little bit longer to uh, gap the speed. Obviously, when we accelerate, we go to straight to notch four, but I'm guessing the AI doesn't do that. single yellow so we are getting somewhere I guess any final way from switch now but we still got like eight minutes to reach there Pretty dark. I guess 
I guess that's one of the good things about doing a, a long journey. Like you might start in the daytime and like end in the evening time. So it goes from bright to um dark, I guess. So if you did a three hour journey between four o'clock and seven o'clock and you start to in the daytime and go to the nighttime, which is kinda of cool I guess. Pacer, man. Now obviously the route from Ipswich does continue towards Norwich in real life, not in the game. Now I believe there is somebody who made the whole Grace the main line that includes all the branch lines and the route all the way to Norwich. So I might install that and do a snow on that. If you guys want to see that. Sweet. different speed limit changes 70 45 30 20 and then 15 so that train's probably going that slow so at this rate we're going to be catching out quite fast going at 45 miles an hour I guess we are going to be switching tracks because we are terminating at Ipswich and the train ahead of us might be going past Ipswich towards Norwich so I wouldn't be surprised if we are switching tracks Is 
a uh, red signal in front of us. It's actually a green signal, so that's good. We're driving about 30 miles now with speed limit, so we can't go too fast anyway. And we should reach there on time. Actually, we're kind of late. ETA is 18.29. Slightly late. Going actually in the tunnel actually, that's interesting. Didn't realize there's a tunnel just before Ipswich Station. Actually there is. It's just I haven't played on this uh, roof for a very long time. Station's dip switch where this train terminates. Everyone change it. Keep our great angular services. Bring it for class 379. Fifteen twenty seconds later, that's okay. There we go. Open the doors. It's a nice green track, actually. Now it's really dark. I kind of need the night lights, actually. Come and think about it. Yeah, that's the inside of the class 379. If you want to see a little bit, which is kind of nice. But that should be it. Well done, you have completed the scenario successfully. Thank you very much. I think we got all the ticks. We did speed a few times. Got the right tick. Penalty break applied five, six times, that's okay. Speeding once, which is okay, and single party danger once. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a like, share it with your friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.